Hello, and thanks for watching. OpenAppSec is an open source initiative that builds on machine learning. It provides preemptive web app and API threat protection against OS top 10 and zero day attacks. OpenAppSec is designed for simple setup and painless maintenance. Thanks to machine learning that doesn't rely on signatures, there is no need in threat signature upkeep and exception handling, like common in many WAF solutions. It can be deployed as add-on to Kubernetes Ingress, Nginx, Kong, Envoy, and API gateways. In this tutorial, we will show you how to protect web applications and APIs running in a Kubernetes cluster by deploying a Kong gateway with OpenAppSec, an automatic machine learning security engine. We will use an Employee Details API, a service that will help us demonstrate OpenAppSec's capabilities. You will learn how to attack the Employee Details API, deploy OpenAppSec for Kong Gateway to protect the API, attack the API again to see that the protection is effective, and finally, connect your deployment to the web-based management, SaaS. By the way, you can run the Playground environment by yourself by choosing the Playground option at the top menu of www.openappsec.io. Now, let's start the demo. First, I will try to exploit a vulnerability in the API to query the details of all employees. The API requires initial authentication to get a token. Therefore, we will perform the authentication required as a manager named John Smith. As you can see, I copied the command in order to access the API using John Smith's credentials. In the response, we received a token that will let us access the API as John Smith. Now let's try to run a request to get details of the employees and see the results. The results indicate that there are three employees under John Smith, Bob, Charlie, and Frank. We will now use an SQL injection attack in the request to get details of more employees. As you can see, the API is vulnerable. I was able to gain access to confidential information about all employees. Next, let's protect Kong and the API from future attacks by deploying Kong with OpenAppSec. This is rather simple. I download the Kong Helm chart, which is enhanced with OpenAppSec. Then, I install the Helm chart using the provided command. Afterwards, I download the OpenAppSec configuration tool and use it to configure OpenAppSec. In the tool, I can proceed by just hitting enter a couple of times to save the suggested rule in the policy and then save the policy in YAML format. Please note that the prevent mode is used for the purpose of this tutorial, but usually, you should start with the default detect learn mode. Now I apply the policy created by the open app set config and then create an ingress resource that will use ingress class name, open app set Kong. All that is left is to deploy the open app set Kong ingress and the installation is done. That's it. Open app sec is now running with open app sec best practice policy integrated with the Kong gateway. Additional information about the policy and various control commands can be found in the documentation under docs at the top menu of www.openappsec.io. OpenAppSec is now ready to check incoming requests before forwarding them to the Kong gateway. Let's see how it affects the attempts to exploit the API's vulnerability. To validate OpenAppSec's protection, I will repeat the previous steps again in order to exploit a vulnerability in the API to query details of all employees. However, this time I will be accessing the API via the protected Kong ingress, reachable at a different IP. I will repeat the SQL injection again using this command. The curl command is now accessing the new ingress. As you can see, this time the attack is blocked by OpenAppSec and I got a 403 forbidden error code. Now it's safe to say that both Kong and the API are protected. The logs are available using this command and include attack and traffic details. At this point, I have a validated working deployment of OpenAppSec. I can further customize the policy using Kubernetes custom resources or the configuration tool and obtain logs. As the policy is available as code, I can store it in a Git repo and deploy it using a GitOps CD process. In the next step, we will use OpenAppSec's optional web UI, available at my.openappsec.io, which provides central management for multiple OpenAppSec deployments and their configurations, central logging, monitoring for status and security events, and more, and is especially useful for larger deployments. To do this, I will need to connect the OpenAppSec agent that I have already installed to an existing SaaS management tenant. 
I access my .openappsec.io and sign up using my GitHub account to access the OpenAppSec management portal. I check the option I deployed an agent, as I already have an agent deployed, click Manage and select Kubernetes Profile. You will now see the profile page. Under Basic, I change the profile name to Kong Agents and select subtype Kong Application Security. In the Management section, I select This Management to switch to Centrally Managed Mode. The on-screen instructions in the Connect Existing Deployment section are advising to enforce the policy. So let's do this for it to become active. Now I will copy the two CLI commands, which include a token, to create a secure communication channel between the open AppSec deployment and the cloud. I paste it here and wait. That's it. My open AppSec deployment is now centrally managed. All existing local open AppSec configuration, like the policy I created earlier, was transparently uploaded to the central management tenant. I can now navigate to the assets page in the web UI and see my protected assets. You can see here the default asset that covers all traffic. Here are the security settings. Logs and security events are now sent to the cloud and can be monitored using the web user interface. The last step is to see how logs are visualized in the web UI. Let's attack again to generate an event and monitor it using the central management portal. I will now repeat the same procedure as before for triggering an SQL injection attack using this command. Let's observe the event in the web UI. I will now go back to the management portal, click monitoring at the top menu, and then click on important events. We can now see the event in the table. You can double click the event to drill down and see all details. In addition, this dashboard provides at a glance traffic statistics and information about attacks. I can drill down by clicking on any of the widgets to see the actual events. The table shows the relevant events. For each event, I can see further details such as the HTTP request details, attack source, attack type, and payload that triggered detection. I can also track the learning process, but more on that in another tutorial. In this tutorial, we experienced hands-on how to protect apps and APIs in Kubernetes by adding Open AppSec to a Kong ingress. You can see the two Kong ingresses with and without Open AppSec running side by side by running this command. We hope that you find this tutorial useful. Please note that you can easily run this tutorial yourself by choosing Playground from the website main menu, available at www.openappsec.io. For more information, please also see the product documentation available at docs.openappsec.io. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you and see you at our next tutorial.